Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day. Today's topic is going to be No Man's Sky. As of writing this, I have clocked in exactly 24 hours since the release of the No Man's Sky Next update, and I thought I would give my impression so far. But that's not all. See, this is actually my first time experiencing the game ever, so I thought I would share my feelings towards the game as a new player, rather than someone who either grew too bitter or too zealous of the game prior to playing it post-update. I also want to handle this video a bit differently. I might be 24 hours clocked in, but that's not nearly enough time to try and experience everything that there is to this game. So I thought I would log my ongoing experience of No Man's Sky up until I feel like I have no more to say or until I decide to drop the game and move on. I'm not great at live commentary, so Let's Plays are a bit rough, but trying to burn through a whole game is too much for a tiny little channel like mine. Not to mention the time and effort for a single video is just not worth the investment. I'm thinking this format will be easier to manage, and a bit more casual than my past impression videos, while at the same time being a bit more refined than a standard Let's Play. If you think I might be onto something with this format, or if you'd like to suggest any tweaks or changes, then please comment below. Anyway, so I launched the game, and I was treated to one of the longest loading screens I have ever experienced in my life. I even had time to ask a friend if this was normal, but not long after he responded I was finally in the main menu. Thankfully, this loading screen doesn't seem to happen every time. Seems like it was a first time launch sort of deal. So I decided to pick survival mode. A choice I do not regret, however, I find some aspects of this mode to be extremely monotonous but also rather challenging. I found myself struggling to have the resources needed to survive on many of the planets I visited, but none were more punishing than the one I started on. After dying a few times while I got my bearings, I managed to follow the little breadcrumb trail of missions that eventually got me on my feet and my ship in the skies. As I left my little starting planet, I came across one of the densest asteroid fields I had ever seen in a game. These things were everywhere, and at first I found how clumped up they are to be a bit jarring. However, I thought to myself that despite how they looked, ripping through them and collecting a few materials as I do was more fun with them so clustered together. It's fun, but I've personally found the asteroid fields to be the ugliest looking part of the game. And speaking of how things look, it's to my understanding that the ships have had a little TLC done to their appearance, and I have to say I like it. They aren't going to be winning any awards for their design, but I feel like the style they went with was the right choice. The ships are kind of cartoony, and I know that makes some space sim fans go ballistic, but, as long as you're not expecting realism and instead looking forward to playing and having fun, then this is both serviceable and most likely practical seeing as it probably helps the game run a bit better. Alright, so I'm flying around in space and the first thing I do is make my way to the first station I can find, but on my way, pirates attack. I decide this is a good time to test out my awesome dogfighting skills, as I was stopped mid-jump and had no other choice really. The pirates were not too tough, and I walked away with minimal damage. I found that I like playing the game in first person when I'm on planets, but flying the ship and fighting just feels better to me in the third person perspective. So I got to the station, and I start making a little bit more progress towards my main mission until I come across the character customizer. They give you a number of options that make you look distinguishable amongst your friends, but I can't help but complain a bit here as I really hated the color options they have for your character's body and suit. 
I felt like I had a hard time selecting a few colors that looked good together, as I really didn't enjoy being the solid yellow they started me off with. But seeing as they went from having no characters to having a character creator this robust, I find myself fairly impressed with it. So it's at this point the main mission started really dragging me around, eventually letting me feel a bit more free after it asked me to make my first jump to another system. And the first thing I get into when I'm given a moment at the reins is another fight, this time to protect a freighter. Upon successfully fighting back the pirates, the freighter flags me down and requests I board the shuttle. It is here that I'm given control as the new commander, and this is where I was sold on the current No Man's Sky experience. Up to this point, I have only done a small bit of building. I will probably talk about it more in depth on a future episode when I feel more experienced with the base construction. But I will say here that I simply adore being able to build my own rooms and halls in the freighter. I know I still have much more to talk about with No Man's Sky, but I will leave my story here. I have mentioned a few criticisms, but overall I'm quite enjoying the game. I'm somewhat glad that I didn't hop on the bandwagon up until now, as I feel it could have spoiled my experience for good, like other gamers who got in on launch. But I want to know what you think. Are you like me, and have never touched the game until now? Are you a returning player? Or maybe you can't forgive Hello Games for what they have done and won't be coming back. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. Goodbye.